Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new, my name is Sarah and I make lots of decor videos like this one. I also make cook with me, what's for dinner videos, plus size fashion, beauty, mom stuff, lifestyle content, all of that. If any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and joined us. Today we are decorating for Christmas. I actually filmed this video a few weeks back, but um, I got, we decorated real early this year, but I am just now doing it where it's a little bit more socially acceptable. Um, and we are just taking down all of our Thanksgiving stuff. By the way, that adorable morning pumpkin pillow, pillow I just picked up at Big Lots for like $3 because everything's on massive clearance right now, all of their fall stuff. So go check Big Lots out because this year they had amazing things. I was actually really impressed. But I'm just gathering all of my fall stuff up. And if you're wondering what are the little screensavers and stuff that are playing on in my videos, I've shared this before, but I have an ambience room playlist called um, Escape to Another Place, and I will have a card or link it below. Um, I didn't make any of the videos, but I love them. They are so just relaxing and enjoyable, and they have them for literally every season, and I play them all the time. But I'm basically just boxing up all of my fall decorations. Um, I don't normally leave things up for Thanksgiving. I normally do like to have everything decorated before Thanksgiving, but this year we decorated in like the very first week of November and I was ready for it. So I normally just box stuff up and get to go in. And there is my husband being such a dork. He always helps out when I decorate and I am so thankful for him. So now we are getting the tree started. This tree is actually, um, was my wedding gift from my parents because my husband and I got married at the end of November and um, so they gave us this and I love it it's from Big Lots and I just saw that they still have it it is my favorite tree it's not like super full or anything but it has so much character to it the trees are like or the leaves and branches are kind of fluffy I love this tree and it has lasted now four years of marriage and it keeps going as you can see I got too excited and turned on the lights and everything wasn't plugged in and I was like oh no it finally broke and I was so sad and my husband was like it's all plugged in so that was that um me looking disappointed and him being making fun of me and then we finally plugged it in and everything worked out and it looks beautiful and I loved it um this garland banner is actually from Target from a few years back and normally I just I will take the steamer to it and kind of help all the flags um, lay down but I love the way this looks it's just it's kind of different and unique it gives me almost like a British vibe totally if I'm if you guys are from England or the UK and you're like this is not our decor you could totally clock me on that I just it gives me that vibe <laughs> anyway um this wreath is also from Target. I think I got it like two years ago. To be honest this year, I'm a little disappointed in the Christmas decor from Target, especially their dollar section. My husband helping me out. <laughs> they normally bring, like raise the bar, and this year it's just not. There are so many more competitors, and I figured that they would try harder, and I feel like they really didn't. And the prices have gone up, and I'm just a little disappointed. Those deers are also from Target from a few years back. You'll see later in like the whole, when I show you how everything looks decorated, I ended up mixing this around quite a bit. But basically that whole mantle is all from Target. Um, and then this tree skirt, I have an Instagram instead of husband, it's a YouTube husband. Anyway, um, he makes fun of me all the time in joking manner. But this tree skirt is from Hobby Lobby. I believe that they still have it. I love this tree skirt. If you don't know me and you don't know my love for Buffalo Check, but it is a love. Um, and a couple years back, that's like literally all I decorated it. Um, once again, these are also from Target from Dollar Spot a couple years back. I love them as well, but this year they just don't have good stuff. I recommend checking out Hobby Lobby, Big Lots, Walmart has raised the bar this year. So many other places in my honest opinion. Um, and now the little chitlins come out from their quiet times with their iPads and they are ready to decorate. I just loved how excited Eleanor was this year. She is too, and this is the first year that I just saw the Christmas magic just light her up. She has been so excited. All of my five-year-old 
girl has always been excited, but Eleanor, this is the year she's like recognized. Like it is Christmas time, and that is such a magical feeling. So. Growing up, my mom always had us help decorate, and so the girls now get to be a part of that too, and it's just so magical, and I have so many great memories from it, so we all decorate together, and um, here we are. Totally, totally forgot to cut this out, but you know what? We're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. Um, but I got all of these stockings from Target. I have been collecting them for years now. They bring them back every single season, so if that's what I love, because especially if you, your family keeps growing and they don't have them, you have to buy total new stockings, but they've brought them now for at least like eight years or so, if not longer, so they keep bringing them back, and I know that they have them this year. Um, our apartment is very small, but we make do and we decorate it to the nines. I love adding as much stuff and all the nooks and crannies I can, especially for Christmas time. Um, these little signs I got from Hobby Lobby last year, but they, I believe, still have them this year. If not, they have very similar ones. Um, of course, I have to come in and rearrange things because that's who I am. Uh, anyway, once again, that screensaver. This is a special little tree. The nostalgic trees are really big this year, um, and this is a special gift from my mom. She has one from like the 60s, and it has been one of my favorite Christmas decorations my whole entire life. And so she got me a little mini one this year. This tree is actually from QVC. I will link it if it's still available. I love it because it has clear and then like multicolor lights. It's beautiful. It lights up the room so brightly. And that Christmas prayer little sign is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got it this year and it's just so beautiful and unique. I added a tiny little um, nativity scene to that little space too recently and I love it. I got these two little plush deer last year at Target. They're actually ornaments and I honestly can't remember where I put them. I need to go back and watch my last video or just try to like think really hard because I do not wear, know where I put them. That penguin is actually my very first Christmas decoration my mom gave me when I moved out to my first apartment. And that little Santa boot is actually a vase that my husband got us on our first Christmas as a um, married couple and I just use it as a, a remote control holder and it works perfectly. Please ignore this disaster of a bedroom. I feel like let me know below if you're like me if your bedroom is like the worst part of your home because you let everything else like clean and beautiful but you just like you're just exhausted by the end of the day and your bedroom just like gets wrecked and that is our room so as you can see there's my husband's clothes that he refuses to hang up and so i refuse to hang them up because he will not learn um he did clean them up but Anyway, um, and then our, just so please ignore the mess. We did end up cleaning it up. And as you can see, this fitted sheet was driving me crazy. It took, I mean, I fast forwarded this to like, like I think four or five times the speed. And let me tell you, this freaking sheet took probably 20 minutes to get on. I was so annoyed, but I finally got it on. These sheets are from Walmart. They were super inexpensive and they are so cozy and soft. I love them. I mean, they're basic just red sheets, but you know what? I love them. They're really comfortable and they were really inexpensive. I will link everything I have below that I got new this year, um, if I can find it, and anything that is still available that might have gotten in years past from like Hobby Lobby or QVC or stuff like that. These are little ornaments that I got from the dollar section this year at Target, and I just put them on some string lights, and I think it turned out so cute. I will show a close-up at the end. And then I got this um, comforter set, also from Walmart, super inexpensive, and I thought it was beautiful. It's a little something different than what I normally have. It's a lot more like of a classic um, kind of design and color, and I thought it was beautiful. I just am not used to having white bedding, so it looked blah to me for so long, but I ended up changing the pillows around and kind of making do, and I ended up liking it, and you'll see that at the end as well. Um, but it came with the whole comforter and these two pillows, and I'll show you I ended up using the pillows in different areas, but I have these two pillows from Walmart from a long time ago. I used the plaid pillow and that Home for the Holidays pillow I got at Target a couple years back. And here is the, are the pine cones and the lights. I think they're so cute, and they have the lights there at Target this year as well, and it's super cheap. That Merry Christmas pillow is from Hobby Lobby a few years back, and this table, or that little, I don't know what you call that. That was from Target, and those are from Target, the little houses. They have galvanized ones, I believe, this year, but I just think it looks so cute, and they twinkle, and it's so pretty with the lights turned off. Here you can see that I use that gray pillow on the couch. Um, 
along with a buffalo check pillow. I have these pillows I've had besides that new gray one I've had since I moved in my first apartment. I need to get new Christmas pillows desperately. I just haven't done it. I can never find ones I like enough and so then we just get mismatched pillows. Um, and this is the girls bathroom. I wanted to make it very colorful and Candyland themed. I love making their Christmas decorations just bright and fun and almost like Whoville for the Grinch. So I have that uh, tree towel I got from Walmart last year. This little tree from Hobby Lobby that my daughter has had for a number of years but they bring it back every year. The same ornaments and this banner that I got from Target a couple years ago but it's so fun and bright and colored and I think you could easily make that yourself. It's just felt. I use this wallflower from uh, Bath and Body Works. It's a fresh ball my favorite and we got a quick kiss under their faux mistletoe and there you have it this is what we have so far it turned out so beautifully and cozy we have some office Christmas playing in the background and um, it was really cold out this night and it was the perfect night to decorate and so we had a fire going um, and it just turned into the most magical evening um, and I just wanted to take a moment to just thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me for as long as you have and if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for being here if you're a new viewer thank you so much for clicking on this video and wanting to watch it I hope this brought you some sort of joy and seasonal greetings I know the holidays can be really rough depending on what your life looks like and your situation you're going in. I know this year is a hard year. We make these every year. They're really cute and we I love them. Anyway, I know that um, for not everyone, it's not always a joyous time for me, especially this year with my dad passing away. It is hard to be excited for the holidays, but I am just trying to hold on to my beautiful Christmas memories that he has made for me in the past and just be hopeful for our life ahead of us and the joy and the memories that we will continue to create and for my girls. And so every year, um, we now decorate the tree all together. Um, and just spend time as the whole family decorating it and making memories. I want this time of year to be magic for our girls like it was for me growing up. And so I know that it's hard, especially because it's only been a month since my dad passed away. Um, I still want them to experience the joy and the magic that I got growing up. So pushing on forward and choosing to make the best of our memories and our Christmas and I encourage you guys to do the same to try to find new traditions to find joy in little moments and to appreciate it whether you celebrate Christmas or not um, I hope that this season brings new hope and new life and new joy for you and um, to remember all the things that you have um, to be thankful for and we are just topping our tree off with our little um, Hopper, our little snowman that's actually from my dad's and mom's first tree and this is how it turned out it looks beautiful I am so thankful for um, the decorations this year it's truly brought me so much joy during this hard time and this is how I rearranged the pillows and that Merry Christmas banner I've had for a couple years if you've watched my videos for a while you probably will recognize it and everything just turned out beautifully I am so excited for the holiday season this year and I hope you guys are the same and thank you so much for watching if you haven't followed me already you should follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and I would love it once again if you subscribed and join our little family we are continually growing and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you I would love it if you have any special holiday decor places that you've been loving not that I need anymore but I love to shop for decor so let me know below if you have any other ideas and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video Bye, guys.